two days ago I received a call from a friend of mine whose cousin um, actually is an attorney and then he's got another friend um, of his cousins who is a sports agent and they were talking about ordering N95 masks and bring them into the United States to sell PPE. I know how tempting this is for everyone out there right now because you are looking at it as the gold rush, right? Wow, man, I could sell masks for $3 or $4 and make a 50 cents or a dollar. And if I sell a million, I'll make a half million dollars. Yeah, that sounds very appealing that you could sell hand sanitizer and you could sell uh, PPE stuff, the head covers and the booties and the gowns and all this kind of thing. That is very appealing, but let me tell you about some of the downside to selling PPE that people are not stating, that people are not talking about, that at least I haven't heard from uh, outside sources, but I can tell you from my own personal experiences of people reaching out to me. As you can imagine, I get a lot of people reaching out to me every day, and in fact, almost every hour at this point, right? So people are DMing me on Facebook, they're DMing me on Instagram, they're hitting me up on email, they're hitting me up in my courses, on the you know talk to the person to page, on my bots, my chats, everything as you can imagine possible. People are calling me with their sad stories, their grandmother's sick, their sister's a nurse, this person's a nurse, and they don't have PPE, and I understand how very tempting it can seem to go to Alibaba, right, and buy some stuff and bring it to the United States. A couple things that you may want to be aware of just in case you haven't already heard. Okay, let's talk about, um, let's talk about a couple things that are really important. 3M masks. 3M has just become a household name, right? Many of us didn't even know who 3M was. We saw their products and packages, but we had no idea who 3M was. But today, the entire world knows 3M. And not only do they know 3M, they know 3M respirator masks. Okay, so the good thing is that, well, yeah, 3M has built a name for themselves in the mask business. So again, a lot of people out here are saying, I want a 3M N95 mask. Oh, that's great. I, I love it that you want a 3M95 mask and so do your customers. However, whenever something becomes so uh, worldwide appealing, okay, so sought after, you know what happens to that item? The great and wonderful scammers come out, the counterfeiters come out, right? The fraudsters come out, okay? Basically, all of what we call Shady people come out the woodworks. And I just spoke to my private group of GovCon Giant students about this last Tuesday. I want everyone out here because, I, look, I want to do business, but I also want to do good business, and I want you to do good business. And I don't want you to be taken advantage of because the same way people are telling me about all this opportunity, all of these suppliers that they know, and their friends, cousins, uncles, brothers, sisters, baby mamas, stepsister has a cousin of a friend who works in China, right? And they can get me goods for a really cheap price. At the same time, I want you guys to be aware of four people out here. We're gonna call them Sally. We're gonna call it Curtis. We're gonna call it Frank. And we're gonna say Sam. So Sally, Curtis, Frank, and Sam out here are looking for you, okay? So you be careful because Sally, Curtis, Frank, and Sam are out to get you. And they're out to get your friend. And I'm not saying your friend's a bad person. Your friend may be a wonderful person. may have a good heart, a kind heart, a sweet soul, a gentle giant, a lovable teddy bear. But if they don't do their due diligence and they don't do their homework, then they are subject to be scammed as well. So again, it may not be that that person has any bad intention. They're trying to harm you, deceive you in any kind of way. But that person may be being scammed by the other person on the other end of that call. And again, at this point, what I've decided to do and my team we decided to do, we are no longer having conversations with anybody about 3M masks because we have, it's almost nearly impossible unless you have your uncle or your brother or your sister or someone that's in your direct immediate family or an employee or somebody is at their factory putting their hands on it. They're at the warehouse. They're watching it be boxed up. Okay. It's almost impossible. And I'm going to say impossible right now for you. Okay. Average Dick, Joe, Harry, Peter, Bob, Macy, Gracie, Fancy, Lancy. It's almost impossible for you. What makes you so special that you can get your hand on a 3M mask? And I want you to think about that. Okay, I got a guy that went back and forth with me on emails. And I told the guy, I said, listen, open up your eyes. Take the blinders off, okay? Why would someone who has 5 million masks call you? If you've got 5 million 
authentic or 1 million authentic 3M masks, you should have sold them in 22 seconds. Not 22 minutes, not 22 hours, 22 seconds. Because you can call any single state, any federal agency, the VA hospital, the post office, FEMA. You can call anybody and get rid of those 3M masks. So I just want you guys to just, just, just think. The world needs this stuff. Okay, I know stories where the Israeli government has confiscated masks. I know stories where the German government has confiscated masks. And those are the stories that I know. And I'm sure more people out there also know other stories where other militaries and government agencies have seized these 3M masks. So I, I, I hope that I'm coming across and I, and I just like scratch this out your brain of these 3M masks. Now, cool. 3M masks. All right, it's off the list. Medical grade. Okay, right now, and again, you don't have to believe me. Google check it, fact check it. Look, I'm just giving the information as I see it. Okay, right now, the government, FEMA in particular, if you're bringing in metal grade, coke grade stuff, okay, I would be very, very cautious. Now, if you have a client or you have a buyer that is a respective agency, you're probably likely to get through customs. But if you do not, and you're trying to bring in medical grade items, right, through these borders through our customs, FEMA is a high probability that FEMA is likely to seize your orders. So I just want to warn you. I want to caution you. Do your due diligence. Do your fact checking. Okay. Don't say take my word and just give up. Right. I'm not telling anybody to give up or stop what they're doing. I'm just saying buyer beware. Make sure that whatever you're buying, okay, that it will be able to go through customs and get into the United States. I personally can tell you of stories of people who are not getting their stuff through customs. Now, one reason is FEMA is seizing it if it's a medical grade. The other reason is it doesn't have proper documentation. So again, if your stuff does not have the correct documentation and the guy who you're buying it from doesn't have an importer's license, it's likely your stuff is going to be caught at the borders. And then at this point, you're going to be out of a whole bunch of money, right? And you're not going to be able to provide to your customer. I can tell you right now, this is happening to folks. This is happening. I'm talking to people every day. Listen, I spoke to a finance guy just two days ago, and we are aware of people who are losing their POs, losing their contracts because they can't fulfill the orders. The government is uh, getting stricter on this and they're getting smarter about it. So again, I just want to caution you before you start spending money and putting out your hard-earned money, or it's probably not even your money. You're probably going to borrow the money from a friend that has money and tell this guy, hey, look, I've got this great business opportunity. You could come on board and we could sell stuff to the government and we could make a whole bunch of money. Before you do that, do your homework. Make sure that the people that you're dealing with have importer's license to bring in goods. Make sure that the FEMA is not going to seize your medical grade stuff. And make sure your stuff is not going to be caught at the boards because of failed documentation. Now, again, if you can, if you can check off the check boxes and if you can, okay, ensure that you can eliminate, you know, Sally, Kurt, Frankie, and Susan over there. If you can eliminate those four over there, check out these boxes, then I say you should sell PPE. If you cannot and you're not certain and you are on the edge and you're just thinking about doing this uh, because you see a gold restaurant opportunity, I would say a resounding. Oh, my blue mark is not working. Maybe it's because I was meant to write it in red. <laughs> resounding no.